Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to start tearing down this some more. It's going to be a couple day video. So I forgot to go to AutoZone and pick up these uh, hose clippers, I guess you can call them. Um, so I'm not sure if I'll get to that. I can try to take these pulleys off. Oh, and then we'll flip it and do the headers, oil pan, all that stuff. So let's get to it. Alright guys, I want to show you this. Um, so I got all the pulleys and stuff off. I'm gonna start working like the water pump. Um, but I looked at the, the crankshaft gear. And that mark is right there, right? Look where that mark is. It's like an entire tooth. One, it's like a tooth and a half. So let me know if that's not normal. Let's see here. Yeah, probably over here, get water pump out, start getting this stuff out. Oil lines with the ACS. Come back here, do these oil lines and stuff. And then after that, I'll probably flip it and do everything on the bottom. So let's keep going. All right, guys, we're here at UPS, going to drop off a uh, bunch of parts I'm returning to Rally Sport because SCI, as you guys saw in the last video or two videos ago, um, had a lot of parts that I bought already. So I'm going to return those, going to start selling a bunch. So if you guys need like IED fuel lines, I have a radium fuel pump. Um, I got TGV deletes, I got ID 1050s. I got the IEG fuel reels as well, so I can sell that whole fuel system to you guys if you want. Just hit me up. Um, but yeah, let's get this return going. And some fish. And bam, we're back. Uh, so tonight, we're going to start. Uh, hopefully, I still need to go to AutoZone so, to get that hose clamp. Gosh, there's so many cars. If you guys follow me on my Instagram, you guys know what happened to me last night. I stabbed myself in the eye with a hose clamp. But yeah, so I went to the ER last night and they gave me some like antibiotic uh, eye drops and they gave me some antibiotic eye drops and it's, it's healing fine. Like I have some clear vision right now, but probably a couple days I'm going to get back to um, That was because um, I had the engine sideways on the stand because there's like oil dripping out so I didn't want like a whole bunch of oil going on me. Or if I had it sideways and there's a, a water hose connected to the water pump I was trying to get out and so I was like pulling up and my face was right in it straight in the eye. So stupid, stupid, stupid. So I'm just gonna do everything, hopefully tonight, um, that I can to uh, 
clear up the engine except for your cam gears. And so when it, when it comes, I can just take the cam gears off. Um, and then I can take the heads off. So that's the plan. Hey guys, so back a few hours later, I'm gonna help wipe eating dinner stuff. I got these pliers from AutoZone. Um, they're not the right ones, like they're, they're not rounded for these clips, but I mean, I just took off this one. So I just like, looks like I could reuse it. Um, if I just like cinch it back. But essentially I just like tore off, I just took this and tore it off that lip right there. And so I'm gonna start taking off all this uh, PVC, just all this hose and stuff. I'm going to do that, flip it over, get finally the water pump off, and then the, take that filter off and the oil pan. I'm not sure if I'll take the oil pan off, actually. It's a good question. I might have to do that very, very last after the cam gears. So yeah, let's get to it. All right, guys, uh, so I'm coming to a point here shortly where I am stuck and I won't be able to do anything. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean up this, uh, this TGV port with all this gasket that's just heated on there. And then I'm going to try the camera will allow me. I'm going to try to, to take off the water pump. That thing. Sorry, it's on the tripod. Um, but yeah, besides that, like I can't get this pipe out until this comes off until the cam, cam gear is off. I can't take this ABCS line until this cover and cam gear is off. Um, and I want to say, I'm going to show you this. That's my trash pile, except for the headers. Um, the headers are just there, but yeah, that's the trash pile. Everything in the pile is going to the dump. Okay guys, let's uh So yeah, since my tools are coming in a couple of days, see about switching these strips out the WRX and like some other ones on there. Um after I've done this we'll go to the bench and we'll tear apart that now. Which, now that I think about it, I should probably well, I need to order these seals and stuff. Which I, I just resealed the uh, ID 1050s that I have. I think now, now we we'll should probably. Uh, which, I, I gotta do more research on that to see if I can be red tank. I'm gonna go to 500 or not. Basically restricted to the I'm not buying it I just bought a brand new EF-28. Not brand new, it has 20,000 miles on it, so. I gotta resell that now. So, um, just keep it in WRX. I still don't know what I'm gonna do. Again. Alright, I guess it's uh well, I guess I'm trying to get this. I'm putting a time lapse again, I'm trying to get this sensor out and then finish off the water pump and maybe like this bracket for the water pump.
All right, guys. So I think that's gonna wrap it up until um, until I get these tools. Besides getting this stupid oil filter off, this is like torqued down to a hundred foot pounds. <laughs> it will not come off. So I gotta go to uh, AutoZone again and get that um, oil filter socket. I'm gonna let everything clean this off. But yeah, I mean, look, it's a bare block right now. That is nuts. <clears throat> so I'm gonna, then we'll, we'll do this next, guys. Um, so I am gonna like power wash this thing before I take it to the machine shop. Maybe I can do that tomorrow, actually. I can like cover all the holes. That's a lot of holes. <laughs> So maybe not, I don't know. I just want to cover everything up and like power wash it, get all this like white stuff. I don't know what this white stuff is. It's so weird. It has to be like salt or something. Anyway, um, what was I doing? Oh, tip. No, so I was going to open up. I was trying to get that off to drain it completely. All right, uh, let's go to the bench and take apart these the manifold intake manifolds and look at the injectors. All right, guys. So let's get tearing this thing apart. So there is a Cobb uh, sensor right here. I can probably look up the part number and find out what exactly it is. But I'm guessing it's like a 3.5 bar. Or a four bar, or one of the two. I do have a a throttle body that I'm gonna throw on that I have um, that has the. Uh, I think it's a 3.5 bar sensor, but it's not a sticking map sensor. Um, it's one where you have to have the cob adapter for it. Um, and that's mainly for like if, if you go like a bigger turbo, you can just, just swap out the sensor. I'm going to clean this thing up too eventually, probably power wash it as well. What do you guys think of ceramic, ceramic coating like engine parts? <laughs> like the throttle, no not throttle, like the intake manifold. So. That's just a thought I just had. Make it look pretty. I don't know. Maybe. And we do have gas gas. That's good. It's like OEM, so fresh. I got a drink speed one. Holy boy, does this guy not have an AOS in this thing? Holy gunk. Let me bring you guys closer. All right, look at this thing. Look at like all that gunk in there. Holy crap. Like, dang. It looks like this guy didn't have an AOS, which is ultra sad face with all the other. Probably should have got, he, he probably had a catch can. That's probably what it was. Not oil separate, he probably had a catch can. Which I don't know the difference. I mean, I know the difference. I just don't know what the exact outcomes would be between an AOS and a catch can if there would be like more gunk in, in the intake manifold if there was a catch can or an AOS so drop a comment let me know what you guys think about that but let's keep tearing this thing apart alright keep chugging along you was gonna go everywhere. <clears throat> Treadstone. Is that from Jason Bourne? Treadstone? It's the name of the, the fuel lines here. Treadstone fuel. And they are.
They're eight. They're eight a.m. Dry as a bone. Like I said, this thing probably hasn't been started in like a year. So. Um, and obviously, he has this uh, Grim Speed report. Boost controller on here. I'll probably just leave it on. Oh, I'll take all this off. Well, I definitely want to clean inside of here. That's all that's on there. So, but look at that. Holy crap. So, definitely need new seals. Definitely needs to be run through the cleaners. So. Oh, these are, oh, okay. These are Aeromotive uh, fuel reels. So, since it has Aeromotive fuel pressure regulator, it's probably like a kit. But oh well, that got the whole the whole caboodle there. The kick boodle. <sighs> Sorry for all the weird puns. Take care after my dad. <laughs> It's that same white stuff. Same white stuff that's on the engine block. It has to be like salt deposits or something. It has to be. Um, CGV deletes off. I haven't seen put myself in the head. <laughs> I haven't seen um a brand on these. You know, I have the OTO ones. I bought from that guy. Which I'm gonna sell again. So if anybody wants TGB deletes for the STI. Or EJ setup. I got him. Three hundred bucks. Gaskets on this? Naughty, naughty, naughty. Oh, 
Liam, EJ, E57, aftermarket, deleted TGVs. I just saw, and these are my OTL. OTL, the ID 1050s, IAG red rails, and then I'm pretty sure these are side feed, which have better response and accuracy than. So I might sell these and put the OTL ones on. But we'll see how much stuff I keep and how much stuff like I swapped out. Cause I mean, I already, I mean, I already bought like a bunch of this stuff. I mean, I think I'm definitely selling the SPR, but anyway. All right guys, that's it for this video. If you like this video, go ahead, drop a like, drop a comment and subscribe to YouTube and Instagram. And we'll see you guys next time.